everyone welcome Hi. back to my channel i'm carrie and this channel is all about hawaii food and family and today because it's the holidays uh we are going to be making banana bread and banana bread is a dish that i would say mom has made many or mom and dad together they work as a team they make this uh every i would you say every year or how often yeah would you say? i guess around christmas time around christmas time they make um many many uh batches of this recipe and so we're just excited today i had i have made this uh, recipe on my channel before but i made it by myself so this is more special because i get to learn from uh, i get to learn from the people who know best and so we're gonna watch how they make their banana bread so uh keep watching and let's find out so would you guys like to tell us um how do you guys um divvy, the, divvy out the responsibilities well, uh, one of my responsibilities is to peel the bananas. <laughs> What's that's a major ingredient in banana bread? So um, I'll show you how to peel and how uh, what I do to kind of crush the banana. If for each recipe, you need two cups of right. bananas. Right. And what's your job? What do you usually do? And I measure out all of the wet and dry ingredients and put it together. And then at the end, we work together to put the batter into pans. All right, okay. sounds good. Do so you want to see what the ingredients are today? Okay, so our dry ingredients are flour, sugar, um, baking soda, and salt, and cinnamon. And is there something else right there? All right. And our wet ingredients are oil, uh, vanilla, the eggs, and our um, crushed pineapple. I think it takes about six, seven bananas to make one one cup needed for the recipe. So I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna make two cups. Nicole, what is Grandpa Richard peeling? You wanna help him peel the banana? What's he peeling? Huh? Peel. Break it into small pieces. Break it into small pieces. Yeah. Break it into small pieces. Good job. Good job, Michael. Okay, I'm gonna start mashing the bananas. Okay, and to to kind of lick to kind of liquefy the banana. Yeah. Hold the bowl for Grandpa. Hold the bowl. Hold the bowl. Hands, I go. You're helping you. Yeah? I'm gonna pour pour this into uh, these cups. And this cup, these cups are two two cups if you were to measure. So it's exactly what you need for one one recipe. So I'm gonna get a spoon. What is he doing? I'm putting a banana into this cup. Dad, how many times would you say you've made this recipe? I don't know. Maybe about, not that many. Maybe ten times or so. What's that? That's banana. <laughs> so we're gonna beat our eggs. With three eggs. <laughs> so how did you get this recipe? Okay, so grandma's neighbor. Barbara. Barbara. Yes. Thanks, and Barbara. So this actually is from Barbara. So she was a very good friend of Grandma's um, when she lived in Hilo. Yeah. And so Grandma really, um, uh, we all loved it. And so she, Barbara was nice enough to give her the recipe. Okay. Mm. So did Grandma used to make this recipe too? Yes. And that's how we got it. Grandma. Okay. So then we add in the sugar. Can I come back? So the recipe actually calls for two cups of sugar, but over the years we found that two cups too was sweet. too sweet. So this is a cup and a half. So we've modified that initial recipe. Okay, so. Plus two, we add pineapple in this recipe. So I think it's in the No, no, but yeah, but that also adds sweetness. So I mean, maybe that's why we think it's too sweet. So we're going to do all the liquid ingredients and the sugar, which is of course not. Okay. 
and we're gonna add the oil. Do you think it makes a difference if you this use a, a hand oil. blender or you use an electric blender? Um, this is an electric blender. Yeah, but you know, like a hand, do you think it makes a difference if you pull by hand? Oh, I don't, I don't think so. It's just faster and I think you get a more even, even mix. Mm. You want to so, add in the pineapple? Michael, you want to add in the pineapple? I'm going to put in the pineapple here. Okay. Okay, can you throw, can you pour this in? I'll help you, okay? We'll do it together. Pour this in. Wow, good job. Oh, good job, I did I it. Thank you. Oh, 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 it's splashing all over the place. A little too wild. Okay. Tell Grandma Gail, too wild. Wild. Okay. Okay, we can add the bananas. Okay. Okay, okay hold this with two hands. Okay, wait. Okay. okay, all right, ready? Hold it with two hands, Aiko. We're gonna add the bananas. Okay, we're adding the bananas. Two cups of bananas. All right, got it all in. What does it look like to you? What color is it? Yellow. Yellow. It's not green anymore. It's not green anymore. Was it ever green? No. Okay. okay. Now we're going to add in our um, flour and okay. our cinnamon, our salt, and our baking powder. And the baking powder, what did you say we have to do to so it? So the baking powder, I, I always sift it. So I have a very nice, Remember smaller that? sifter. Yeah. And we sift it because baking powder has a like tendency to clump. Yeah, just like girls' day. <laughs> you remember the girls' day video? Yeah. You played it. Yeah. Michael, do you like banana bread? Yes. Yes. Has she ever had banana bread? <laughs> no. So actually, this is a very legit recipe then from Kilo. Wow, I didn't realize that. So I wonder why it's so good. Let's mm -hmm. mix all of the dry ingredients. So this is... So do you sift your flour, Mom? Um, no. <laughs> the recipe calls for sifted flour, but we, 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 we cheat a little. Okay, that was the baking soda. Okay, and here's the cinnamon. And what is this oh, this is this that was the salt. Mm -hmm. I could, do you like to cook in the kitchen? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you pour this into here? Yeah. Okay, one job. job. Okay, do it again. Okay, this work. Oh. Oh, good job. Dad does is she um, oils and flours the pans. Well, that's an important step. Yes. Hands up. Where are you going? Are you done? Yes. So what I do is uh, another step that I do is I grease. I just grease it with butter and then I flour the, each pan with um, flour. Okay. So I take the pan with on my on my um, paper towel, I just rub the butter in the pan, like that. And, and for each recipe, each recipe is five it's either small this. pans or three big pans. Okay. I bought these pans at Ben Franklin and they came in like packs of either three of the big ones or um, in the five pack. So. But it's a, if you're gonna give these as gifts, then it's a great way to um, prepare them for people, then you're not asking for your pan back. So we're gonna bake the bread at 325 for about one hour. So um, I put the flour in a cup. And what I'm gonna do is just um, put some of the, some of it in the pan like this. I just kinda swish it around the pan like that. And I do it over another, the next pan I'm going to use, so I don't waste the flour. So what's the technique? No technique, just practice. <laughs> so we're very basic. 
grateful to Barbara. We're very grateful to Barbara. So my memory of Barbara is my cousins and I, uh, we used to go to the Big Island like when we were younger, like uh, I would say fifth grade, sixth grade. And we were told growing up like not never to talk to strangers or like take a ride with strangers. And um, my grandma, so we, uh, myself, my cousin Allie, and my cousin Billy, we, we arrived in Big Island and we were expecting my grandpa and grandma to pick us up. But this lady Barbara came and she's like, oh, I'm supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to pick you guys up from the airport. And um, being the responsible y young uh, girls and boys that we were back then, we were like, no, we don't go with strangers. <laughs> so um, we made, we insisted that Barbara call my grandpa from the payphone because back, back then we didn't have cell phones. So like, Barbara had to get on the payphone and call my grandpa or get in touch with him and he had to tell us that it was okay to go with Barbara. So anyway, that was my one, one memory of Barbara, but Barbara was a very nice lady. She just, we just didn't know her yet at the time. But thank you Barbara for this recipe because it has, um, so many people like it. Like so many people are very, very. They enjoy this banana bread recipe. And for not kidnapping you guys. And for not kidnapping us. <laughs> Mom said that her and dad do this part together. So apparently they already have a system. What's the system, Mom? Dad just holds. Okay. Dad holds stop. the bowl. Mom tells him when to stop. <laughs> well, we 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 do it a number of ways. Whatever way works best. Can you, do you have to then all make them the same size? Yeah. Okay, so off camera, mom told me a very important tip. And I was like, why didn't you share that on camera? She's like, I forgot. So, mom, why don't you share the tip that you, you taught me? <laughs> so I had to teach Carrie that the reason why we use this bowl with a, an electric mixer is because it has straight sides and when you put the mixer in with the blades, it doesn't hit the bottom of the bowl. If you're using a round bowl, you can't really use a, an electric mixer very well in it because it's always hitting the sides of the bowl. So we always use a bowl that's straight. That's straight. Okay. So good to know. Also, to know. we made so we made a second recipe and mom says that she doesn't double her recipes. So that's why we didn't just do it all at once. Why don't we double the recipe again? Um, well, it's you need a really big bowl to mix everything first of all. So you physically so we just have this bowl and I I, I feel that the breads come out better when you don't make like a double recipe of bread. So it's really, a, it's a lot of love and care that goes into each banana bread. All right, so we're gonna now okay. pour uh, in the second batch. Okay. And here we go. Okay, so I'm just, sorry, I'm just evening out the, the dough, I guess, the, the, the quick batter, yeah, the batter, because, um, you know, otherwise we're going to have one bread that's really tiny, and it'll cook better this way, too. So is it okay to cook small uh, banana breads and big banana breads together? I believe so, yes. Okay. So how, is it the same amount of time for the little banana breads? Well, we'll check them and we may have to take them out maybe five or ten minutes early. Okay. But it'll be okay. All right. So okay. now we will be putting all of this is two recipes in the oven and we'll see you back in an hour. So now it's done. These were in for about 55 minutes. They look perfect. So how do we test if it's ready? We're gonna test it with a toothpick. Ooh. I'm just gonna stick it in there, and if it comes out clean, <gasps> ooh, it's done. Perfect. perfect. So we're gonna let it sit for about maybe 10 minutes. It's gonna pull away from the sides, and we can take them out mm -hmm. easily. The big ones we left in for another five minutes. So these we took out at 55, and then the big ones you said about five more minutes. Yeah, five more minutes. Okay. Just to make sure it's all cooked. We will try them in a little bit. I'm excited. It smells Delish. very, very good. <sighs> yeah, looks good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we just took out the big banana breads out of the oven. And so yeah. we did the test on them. They are perfect. So 60 minutes in the oven for these. 
and 55 for these and it looks delicious final taste test and we let this cool for about 10 minutes i would say and we're gonna try it are you ready okay this is the banana bread this looks really great perfect Mmm. Whoa. It's so good. Michael. It's the best one I think we made yet. Mm. I have another piece. Want a piece? Mm. Mm. Wanna try it, Michael? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? Awesome when you help make it mm. yourself. <laughs> She's laughing at Grandpa Richard. Oh, isn't it so good? Yeah. Uh, I'll give you this one. Okay, that has water in here. I cook. Mmm. It's very moist. This is a really good recipe. If you have to make banana bread, make this one. I would encourage you because it's moist. The pineapple, I think, adds a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's very sweet yeah. as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very good. sweet. Yeah. Even if we put less sugar, it still is um, very sweet. Do you like it, Aiko? How's the banana bread? Grandpa Richard. Did Grandpa Richard make you laugh? <laughs> Wasn't it so good? Is it good? Want try some more? Like it, I got. It's yummy. A great gift uh, for this holiday season. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, stay tuned for our next video, and just hope all of you are having a happy holidays. And we'll see you guys soon. See you in the next one. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. I right, can say bye.